Hi, this is Chris and welcome to Winemaker TV. If you like wine, if you like meat, if you like cider, and you want to learn how to make it for yourself, this is the place for you. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time I come out with a new wine and a new video. Today I'm going to be bottling up a muscadine wine I made last fall. So stay tuned. Today we'll be bottling up a three gallon batch of muscadine wine I made back in the fall. If you want to see how I made that, there'll be a card right here so you can see how I made that. Uh, today, what you'll need to bottle, you'll need some bottles, of course, and um, you'll need a racking cane. You will need your bottling bucket. If you don't have a bottling bucket, there'll be another card right around here to show you how to make your own bottling bucket. And I'm gonna be making this as a semi-sweet wine, so I'm gonna be adding some sugar to it. So you, we need to stabilize it, so we're gonna be adding some potassium sorbate. And it's three gallons, so you add a half a teaspoon per gallon, so we're gonna be adding a, ga a teaspoon and a half today. And here is my wine. <sighs> three gallons of it and of course you'll need some measuring spoons to get that potassium sorbate into your bottling bucket so let's get started step one in this process will be transferring our muscadine wine to our bottling bucket so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this bucket at my feet because it's better to when you have source destination so it's a siphon but gravity is going to help us out so always make sure you have your destination lower than your source so muscadine up here bottling bucket down here so let me set that up and we'll be right back all right i got my siphon in here this is a one gallon siphon uh, i will soon be upgrading to a five uh, five gallon siphon so it's it's a little awkward with this siphon but it will work so all you do is give it a couple of pumps you can see it just does all on its own and then as it pumps it can the, the actual tube part will lower down in there and a tip I learned this the hard way the wife don't get happy when you do this make sure the spout on your bottling bucket is off before you start siphoning it big mess I've done it before take it from me make sure your spout is on the off position it's because it will make a big mess and wives don't get happy with big messes so while this is siphoning we're gonna let this do its thing and we'll be right back okay our wine has been transferred to our bottling bucket and a little tip another one of these happy wife happy life things so um, no matter how hard you try when you bottle, you're gonna drip just a little. I put a towel right under my feet and under this bucket while I'm bottling. And today I'll be using these little Aldi bottles. I got, they have lemonade in them, $2 or $1.99. My girls drink the lemonade, I keep the bottle. Also, you may not be able to see it because of the green screen, but I got some Perrier bottles. They are also 750 milliliters. I'm gonna try these out because they are also $2. All right, so I'm going to be back sweetening, sweetening this today. I had an interesting conversation. I had a, uh, I'm going to add a, a teaspoon and a half to this. I had an interesting conversation with a professional winemaker that I visited his uh, winery. And he, he always said his semi-sweet, his dry wines were zero to two per, uh, two percent. Uh, alcohol by volume he said this dry was zero but about semi-sweet he usually tried to go for a two percent residual sugars his dessert or sweet wines were about four percent residual sugars so i'm going to be aiming today for a semi-sweet wine so i'm going to go get a, about two percent residual sugar this is i'll be adding a teaspoon and a half that's one teaspoon oh, oh, oh. and a half all my equipment I sanitize, like mentioned in other videos, I have a bucket of sanitizing solution right at my feet. 
where I keep all my stuff and dip it right before I use it. All right, we're gonna stir this up and we'll be right back. All right, I got a little sample here and it's right at 0 0.990, so it is extremely dry right now. So I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna get it to point, I mean 1.008. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of sugar and then I'm gonna check it again. So I'll be right back after I add just a teeny bit of sugar. All right, I got it up to 2% alcohol. And uh, I mean, sorry, I got it up to a 2% residual sugar. So that should be good enough to be get, uh, to where it'll be a semi-sweet. Now it's time to bottle it. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a, my trusty Aldi bottles. And all you gotta do is just turn the spout on. Get it a little bit. Now this is a, a more like a rosé because I didn't use all muscadines. I used to uh, half muscadines, half scuppernog. So that's why it's got a rosy color to it. I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. All right, I'm gonna be finishing bottling this up and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm finished bottling. So usually with these 750 milliliter bottles, you get four to five per gallon. So I got 13 bottles and a little bit left over for tasting. You wanna see that color? And we can taste it. Like I said, it's a, I say this is a rosé because it's a scuppernog uh, muscadine mix. Ooh, that's good. So I like to let mine sit in the bottle for a, at least a week. Probably I like to let them sit for a month to let them chill out, let the shock of being transferred about to mellow the flavors out a little bit. So I won't even crack these open for at least a month. So just keep that in mind. If it don't, if it tastes a little funky when you first first drink it, it might be a little bit of bottle shock so don't worry just let it mellow out it gets better wines get better with age so i know it's the hardest part of this is to be patient if you like what you see here please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know every time i come out with a new wine and a new video if you want to support my channel there will be amazon affiliate links in the description um, even if you don't need any equipment, if you hit any of my links, then go about your normal, average, everyday Amazon purchasing. I will get a kickback for every purchase you make, which help, help to go to buy more equipment and ingredients. So this is Chris with Winemaker TV, and that's all there is today.